Well, that was uh, disappointing. Over Today was an opportunity to show that over the last six weeks, uh, Justin Trudeau has learned the lessons of the last election. Uh, Canadians sent him with the two governments with the weakest mandate in Canadian history. We're just seeing much more of the same. There's nothing in the throne speech talking about preparing Canada for a potential economic downturn with many warning signs on the horizon. Uh, nothing about our energy workers in Alberta and Saskatchewan. Nothing about our forestry workers in British Columbia. Uh, no sense that uh, decisions that were taken in the previous parliament under this government have caused some of the very uh, damage to our society and to Canada. And most importantly, nothing really on national unity. I'm going to support the speech because I see in that speech many opportunities for us to not to take what is intended to be given because it's not that clear, but to get things, to make some gains for Quebec. Uh, and the fact that is, it is so unclear about oil makes it so that it, it's, it's hard to vote against something which is not even named in the speech, even if we understand well that this is the intention. If the Liberal government thinks that this is good enough to deal with the struggles that people are facing right now, then they are wrong. This is not good enough. What we're seeing is a lot of, again, pretty words, but not any concrete actions. They are firmly committed to cognitive dissonance. They are firmly committed to doing two things that are completely mutually exclusive, doing them at the same time. Well, it means they want to build the Trans Mountain Pipeline and they're going to have to face the facts and face the science and realize that 10 to $13 billion of Canadian public money will be better spent bringing in renewable energy, creating new jobs in other sectors, but the building Trans Mountain Pipeline is a very bad idea.